If you're doing home improvement projects, what is the best way to capture information in OneNote so you can stay on schedule, stay connected with contractors, and take all the benefits and advantages of the application? Or if you're a student at the college, what is the best way to organize the information so you can capture it easily and find it very, very quickly? In this video, we will cover these as well as a lot of other questions. Hi there. This is Vadim Michalenka, and in this quick video, I would like to share with you how you can take full advantage of OneNote application, which is part of Office.com suite. Let's first look at the main concepts inside OneNote. We have four major concepts, notebook, section, page, and subpage. They are organized in hierarchical structure. There might be multiple sections inside one notebook, and multiple pages inside one section, and multiple subpages inside the page. So when we created new personal notebook in OneNote, it created multiple sections, predefined sections for us. Quick notes, shopping list, recipes, and to-do lists. And inside to-do lists, there are multiple pages. Today and next week. In recipes, there are multiple recipes. Recipe 1 or recipe 2. In shopping lists, there are multiple pages, grocery list, birthday gift ideas. And in quick notes, there is nothing, but we can add and create new page here. You can create new page by just clicking the add page button and then putting a name of the page here. For example, I added two quick notes here, follow up with school and COVID reopening or notes from my discussion with contractor. And I can put actual notes right here in this section of one note. When we were just starting our mission, we wanted to pick the name that would best describe our values. And this is the main reason why we picked how to analyze data.net because the core of our mission is covering questions how and why in every video that we make. Make sure you consider this when you're making your own decision whether to subscribe to the channel or not. Because online training for everyone is one of the few channels that provides you with the real answers. Because OneNote provides so much flexibility in how you can organize your data, you would have to decide how would you like to build a hierarchy. Couple key considerations. Notebook is a file which is stored in your OneDrive. If I navigate from OneNote to OneDrive, and then click on the documents, I can see my file right here in the list of OneDrive. I would recommend you have three main considerations when deciding how to organize your data. Security, future growth, and search. Let's talk about each one in more details. If you're planning to collaborate with other people on your notes, it might be a good idea to create a separate notebook for each category. This way you can share it with them and you don't need to worry about them seeing other irrelevant information or something maybe you don't want them to see. For example, if you're working on the home improvement project and would like to share your notes with the contractor, you might consider creating a separate notebook for home improvement projects. Please make sure to check out available downloads in the description section of this video. Second important consideration is future growth. Would you be able to add necessary categories to your OneNote notebook? For example, if you created notebook home improvements, you can have sections, kitchen remodeling, and hardwood floor replacement. But would you be able to add your student lecture notes, your to-do lists, or your non-home improvement projects into notebook? This is something to consider when organizing the data. And last but not least is the search. Would you be overwhelmed by the search results if you search everything in your notebook? OneNote provides exceptional search capabilities but you might be overwhelmed with the search results and may not be able to find what you're looking for if you don't organize your data correctly. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure that you get it in the future. Let's look at some ideas of how you can consider organizing the data. This is the structure of the home improvement notebook in OneNote. You see that notebook is named home improvements. It has two sections, kitchen remodeling and hardwood floor installation. Kitchen remodeling has two pages, design and research, and I identify contractors and get estimates. In design and research, we have two subpages, countertop ideas and cabinet ideas. Once you design the structure, it is very easy to implement in one note. As you can see, I created two sections. One is kitchen remodeling, another one is hardwood floor installation. Kitchen remodeling section has four pages. Two of them are subpages. For example, in design and research, there are two subpages, countertop ideas and cabinet ideas, and second pages identify contractors to get estimates. Hardwood floor installation section has only one page, floor selection. Once you build the hierarchy that will work, 
you can start populating it with data. And you can add pictures in OneNote either by uploading them from file or by just copying and pasting them right into the application. Once you have pictures in place, you can do typical operations that you do with the images that will help you organize the notes. You can grow, shrink, crop, and do a lot of other things as needed. You can also enhance pictures with notes. For example, this might be an estimate from Johnson Contractors and include the pricing information. This way you can search by any one of these keywords and you will be able to find this data. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to Online Training for Everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, tricks and techniques we share with you here on Online Training for Everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. If you are a student, this is how you might consider organizing your data. For example, if you study at University of Wisconsin, you might have a notebook related to University of Wisconsin. Your two sections might be Fall of 2020 and Spring of 2021. And in Fall of 2020, you might be taking two classes, Introduction to Computing and Windows 10. And you organize your subpages as a lectures from each class. Having the correct organizational structure will allow you to navigate through OneNote quickly and find what you're looking for very easily. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.